Well, as you heard from Jeannie and Tim, we're paying a really close attention to flooding and flooding in Riverside is a major concern for residents. They already saw it over the weekend from that tr tropical depression hundreds of miles away. One local group is concerned that may mean more problems if the storm hits closer to home. On your side, Troy Clash joins us live now with how conditions have changed since Sunday morning. Hey, Troy. Thank you, Alex. Uh, some groups like the Riverside Avondale Preservation Group say that they are monitoring areas like Edgewood Avenue, which was one of a few select streets that did experience some flooding uh, issues yesterday. And as you can see right now, there is a little bit of uh, standing water, but this is about the extent of what we're seeing today. Now, City Councilwoman Randy DeFore was in the area Sunday. She represents this area and tells us that she is working with the city to come up with a long term solution. Cars driving through standing water, water filling up Willow Branch Park. This was the scene on Sunday morning. The water eventually drained out into the St. Johns River. Warren Jones with the Riverside Avondale Preservation Group says the ongoing rain caused problems in familiar spots. We do have nuisance flooding. So in the historic district, there are areas, even with moderate rain, we're seeing some flooding. And, and those are areas like Riverside and Stockton and Challen. Uh, and Edgewood and Park Avenue. He says it is concerning that Tropical Storm Cristobal dealt that much rainfall from a far distance. The preservation group met with area council member Randy D4 on Sunday. She tells First Coast News she will be working with the Stormwater Maintenance Division to come up with long term solutions. She is also volunteering to help lead different committees addressing infrastructure problems to protect the city moving forward. Jones says this weekend was a reminder that storm protection is critical to these low-lying areas. Well, it's very important. Um, obviously, there's there's property damage whenever you have flooding, and uh, we saw some of that yesterday, apparently. Jones says he's also working to gather more information about the different problem areas so he can present it to Councilwoman DeFore for, again, further uh, deliberation on what exactly they can do to fix these problems. We're live in Riverside. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.